Why does the limb look like it does? With respect to the color of the lunar module, the uh, major environment it has to contend with is the thermal environment of deep space, that is, uh, contending with the high energy uh, from the sun and uh, radiating to the uh, cold of deep space when it's not looking at the sun. So the optical characteristics, the ones that you see, are very much related to the thermal characteristics with respect to absorbing energy and radiating energy. So the colors you see are a function of uh, what the thermal coating requirements were in order to withstand the great range of, of thermal environment. In the original configuration, there were four propellant tanks, two oxidizer and two fuel. And uh, on one side, we had an oxidizer tank and a fuel tank. And on the other side, we had an oxidizer tank and fuel tank. We found that uh, uh, these tanks were hooked up in series, and really they weren't redundant. Uh, and we found it was really much better to go to single tanks, uh, larger, of course, than the individuals were. But we went to two single tanks. And when we did that, the oxidizer to fuel ratio was 1.6. So the oxidizer tank was closer to the longitudinal axes of the vehicle than the fuel tank was in order to balance the uh, uh, moment of mass to get the center of gravity on the longitudinal axes. In other words, do you, do you mean that the amount of fuel weighs less than the amount of oxidizer that's carried? That is correct, and the, uh, that fuel is therefore farther from the axes. To maintain the center of gravity right down the middle. To maintain the center of, of consumables, the center of gravity of the consumables, mm -hmm. so that as you, so that the center of gravity of the vehicle will stay pretty much in the same place as well. Well, thanks very much, Mr. Maynard, for explaining why the lunar module looks as it does. Thank you very much, Owen Maynard, Chief of the Systems Engineering Division at the Manned Spacecraft Center.